Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Uh, once again, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. So, guys, I'm going to be rolling once again with the Carolinas uh, offense and defense, the Panthers offense and defense. And I'm actually going to be going against a guy running with the, pa the Panthers. I don't know if he's actually using the Panthers playbook. Uh, this is Reg, so he's probably got a custom book. So um, uh, I'm going to be using uh, basically uh, the Carolina playbook. I'm not going to do any special formations like that. So if you play mod or you play draft champions, you can use these screen uh, these schemes yourself to go ahead and get get more wins. So uh, just cross mending with uh, with a, a nickel defense. I'm actually doing the 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 over G. And right here, I actually go ahead and expose myself in the seams, and he actually throws the back inside. I actually get a nice little user pick. So that was an all-out blitz. It just it was a different read uh, for most opponents, and he actually threw the area that I was anticipating. He could have went back to the tight end and actually got me back there. So doing the pistol formation, this is the uh, weak formation. Looking for the underneath, and I've got the 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 crosser actually takes the up the up guy he actually falls back into that zone. So I drop it down and pick up a first down. So that's just a perfect reads by me. Uh, and he had to choose pick his poison. So back uh, to the triple option here. Hopefully I get a good steal. I do, and uh, right there I'm able to go and pick up another uh, 13 yards of the run. So it's a nice little run right there. And then uh, I, I'm been, I'll, you'll see you'll see me fo focusing on this set was the empty gun bunch. There's some really good plays that I like to go ahead and use out of this, and I'll be breaking uh, that down in my channel so you guys will see breakdowns of these plays um, uh, in future releases. So able to go ahead and kept, uh, get them in the, in the back of the end zone to go up a, a touchdown. I actually end up missing the field goal right there, so in that type of situation, I actually get uh, I don't get a score. So he goes into a little screenplay right there. He pops that. I'm able to go ahead and stop that for a no gainer, and then I go back to um, a press look right here, and I've actually got some pressure coming up the edge. You can see the blitzer actually gets a free release, and right here actually misses a throw. That actually gives a right read, good read. He misses a throw. So right here, I'm sending six people. I try to take away seam route right there, and actually he throws right into a dragging guy going across the middle. Actually, pick up a first down, so that was a good read by him. So uh, once again, I'm actually I, I do a little read right here, and actually I fall into a zone. I, I I flipped off the guy in the middle of the field and over to the right, and actually throws around in my user. So I get I get the ball right back. So up six to nothing. I'm getting the ball back. Another opportunity to go up by another score. Go into corners right here, drop it down to the, the, the block and release, and able to pick up some good yards. So get a third and short situation. That's a pretty good situation to be in. And I actually pop him with a draw. I can see the box is really light. I don't really run with my quarterback, but this is a play that I actually wanted to go and utilize. And because he has nobody in the box, he's able to pick up an easy 10 yards and a first down. And what's great about that particular play is it just makes him think about it in the future. So slide over Gabriel, once again, giving my opponent the same look, and I've got a deep corner, I've got a streak route right over the middle, and I try to throw the streak, but uh, Cohen is just not big enough to catch that ball. If I had a bigger running back with better hands, I probably would have caught that, but uh, just Cohen's not that big. So nice little inside zone, get some pretty good blocking right here, but I but I spun right into his defender. If I would have stayed off to the right, I probably would have picked up some more yards. Third and fourth situation, going with the, 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 uh, the draw play, Dial him up and actually pick up a nice little first down right here. So I actually got right to the sticks right there. So I come into uh, the inverted veer, uh, play action veer play right here. And I'm going to be looking to uh, basically the flats and then make my progressions up. And I force the ball into the flat. Defender fall down. That, that in route that's above it was wide open for an easy completion. I'll make a bad read. I just totally made a bad bonehead read. And I actually get him an opportunity where he goes up on a point. So, need a ice, uh, ice cold on offense. Once again, go back into this uh, this draw play. He actually, uh, his defender actually comes in and plays it perfectly with Keekly. And right here, I go into, it's a, it's a stop and go play. And I my quarterback overthrows the ball. Actually, the wide receiver had a break on the man. So, I figured to queue him up with that once again. I, I figure that he's going to be looking for that little stop and go route, uh, or, or maybe uh, look for the stop. So, sure enough, he falls on a stop, he bites on it, and actually the seam is wide open by Cohen, and Cohen's off to the races right here. I get it down to the 10, to the 5, and fall right into the end zone to go up by another score against my opponent. I don't have a lot of big plays um, in these offenses, so I like to try everything underneath, but 
Fortunately for me, um, he didn't really have any kind of uh, any kind of uh, answer for that. So hit it with the 52 blitz. I haven't used it at all, so I just wanted to show this to him, see if I could get some pressure. Pressure comes off the edge. He actually throws it right back to my my linebacker, and I'm going up two scores. So I'm an autopilot right now. I'm up by two scores. He's in some serious trouble right now. I'm thinking to myself, okay, this game, I get one more stop. I'm probably going to go and get this guy to rage quick. And he actually throws the ball up to one of his defenders right there, uh, to four defenders right there in that type of situation, and I don't come down with it. Go with a, with a blitz right here, actually checks down, uh, and actually actually goes to a dig route, which was open. And right here I hit him with another blitz. I've got a defender off the left-hand side. So I've got to follow Olsen, and I, do, I did get out, and actually he goes ahead and throws across the middle but does not come up with the ball. That actually was a good read. He ends up punting the ball back to me. So... Down by two scores, doesn't go for it, doesn't make a boneheaded play, actually kicks the ball back to me, so that was really smart. Hit him with a little hitch rot, saw man read, easy 10 yards. No huddle, go into um, uh, the deep curls again, uh, uh, curl flat situation, show him the same look as previous before, and right now I'm going to be trying to look for the corner route. I got a man read, corner's wide open, and I get some pretty good animation to get it down to the 38-yard line. So a minute left uh, in, the, in the game, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Go ahead, show them the same thing. I've got the little spot route streaked up Cohen. Going to go ahead and try to hit the I, – I, I, I waited. I didn't really know what I was doing with the ball. Uh, I didn't have any reads. I tried to run with the ball, and I actually just threw it for some particular reason. And I find Robinson going across the middle after – just to play completely these break, breaks down. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, I'm up by three scores. I've got this guy in the hole right here. And then I got cute, go with a major blitz, and I just gave this guy a huge play right back. So I go with a man blitz and I actually leave two of the seam guys wide open. And sure enough, I put a, I get him right back in the game. It's one of those type of situations where you start getting a little bit cocky, you start, be, be, you start blitzing a little bit more. You really shouldn't do that type of a thing. And all you do is actually give your opponent an opportunity to get back into it. So a little corner route right here, uh, wide open. Uh, this is a really good play to go. I'll be showing this on my channel uh, on my breakdowns and my adjustments. Come into trail which is one of my base audibles, and I've got a streak going up right over the middle, and I actually, he slid off and baited me that. If you can see, he slid off like he was chasing the angle, and it came back in and took that streak away from me. So I, I went to the streak too much to the well, and he baited me. It was a really good play. So now he's going with an empty step. So I go with the 52 blitz right here and actually get, uh, get him sacked right there uh, with, uh, with my linebacker, come back to the 52 uh, blitz again, uh, nickel blitz. He's going with an empty step, so I know I'm going to get some pressure. He does a little in route right there it actually uh, and gets that. Uh, goes down about 15 seconds left. A third and two situation. Going to stay with the nickel blitz, right, or the 52 blitz, and actually gets a good play right here. Gets it down. I think he burns his last time out uh, and gets it down to two seconds. It kicks a long field goal. I think a 47-yarder or so or a 52-yarder and actually goes ahead and, and goes uh, gets down by one score. So I let this guy. I was up by three scores, and I actually give up two scores to get him back into this game. He's down, down by uh, basically uh, nine points. I give up a, a bad, bad uh, sack right there. So second and 22 sec uh, situation. Yeah, I've tacked him with the uh, with the seam routes right here. I don't really. I take I take a shot up top, and Cohen, all five six of them. Actually comes up, gets the ball, and just takes it into the into the end zone for another touchdown. So uh, he left it. He left that back that back of the uh, the backfield just wide open, and I just figured, what the hell? I might as well just go for it. So going once again, I have to take away his tight end. That's who he's going for, and he pops me on the back end side and actually gets a nice little completion. Uh, uh, Prince Macomora um, is actually able to go and sa uh, tackle him uh, to not give up a touchdown, and he goes right up the middle of the seam once again with Ol Olsen and gets a, gets a touchdown. So I'm uh, trying to blitz him. He would take checkdowns in the middle, then I go and switch it up and try to do coverage, and he just basically p uh, it pinned me. Uh, just it just just carved me apart. So right here, only up by eight points. I need to get some points. I need to slow down the tempo, go back into the running game, try not passing so much, uh, do the little spot route again. Uh, I'm thinking underneath uh, right here, and uh, the spot route is is why is not open. I'm going to take off the quarterback, and I just throw rid of the ball. I just seemed like I didn't know where to go with it, so I just figured to go ahead and, and uh, get rid of the ball. So I go into play. I haven't showed him. This is a split back type situation. This is one of my, my favorite plays in the game. And right here, you can see that back 
tight, uh, the back slant uh, uh, post route was wide open for, for completion, and I just put a dom uh, right, uh, right on the spot with Gabriel and actually get a, get a fourth down. So good play right there. Do a, a little uh, draw play. Uh, his linebacker gets picked up on the block, and he's able to go and pick up a good seven yards on that. Back to the run. Just keep chewing the clock against this guy because the clock is my friend right now. He's down by t- he's down by eight points. All I need to do is get a field goal to go up by two possessions and just chew the clock. So once again, uh, taking some uh, taking some uh, yards underneath, just trying to get a little bit closer to the red zone. Back to the yards underneath, chewing the clock. Got into the fourth quarter right now, just chewing the, ch- the clock down as much as possible. And that's my whole game. I'm playing, you know, I've, I, I've been leading this game. I've been in control of the game the entire time. I'll take my three points and, and uh, basically two possessions and try to go ahead and get a stop on defense. That's the most important thing. So I go ahead and try to switch up and try to get some pressure with him. He's going empty set situations, so double A gap blitzes are going to be very good. And he throws it all right to me, and I do not come down with it. So back to the double A gap, uh, basically show two, cover three. Take uh, Chase after his tight end. He actually tries to pop me up top, but a defender actually drops it, slaps it into Callahan's hands, and actually come down with it. So got a good break from that Chicago Bears defense. It really helped me out. And right here, my goal is just to chew the clock down from him. He's he's down by 11 points. I just need to chew this clock down, force him to start taking timeouts, start taking time off. As you can see right here, basically 15 seconds left. we got uh, basically, you know, uh, just a little time left on the clock. I want to chew this clock as much as possible right here. Look for the corner route, and then um, I actually pushed it up. I should have went to the backside, uh, which was actually a little flat route. I probably could have checked that down and kept the clock rolling, but you can see I get it down to two, uh, two minutes. And uh, right here, it actually takes a shot up top. Gets a really good animation right there, even right in front of my defender, and actually comes down with it. So uh, it is a, a, a first and 18, uh, an 18-yard line. 24 seconds left. Looking for the seam right here. Get the perfect animation and come down with the ball, and that's pretty much it. Ran the ball a few different times right here, and he actually goes with the aggressive man blitz. I hit him with a hitch route, and that's it. So once again, my subscribers, thank you a lot uh, for your support, guys. Uh, these type of form, these. This breakdown actually was a Patreon uh, member that actually requested me to do some pa- Carolina Panthers stuff. So if there's a particular playbook that you guys want me to work on for you and, and try to find different types of schemes to help your game, let me know. I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and show you gameplay and actually put that down. So if you go to my Patreon account, you can get these type of tips and, and different strategies uh, to help take your game to the next level. So my subscribers and my Patreons, thank you for your support, and until next time.